In this video, I'm going to tell you about some of the new features that we've added to the HTML-like text formatting of the RAD controls for WinForms for the Q3 2009 release. First off, we've increased the amount of HTML-like text rendering tags that are available for your use. We've added more advanced tags for text styling and formatting, along with tags for lists, links, and images. As you can see here, I have the RAD controls for WinForms demo application opened up to the HTML-like formatting example. Here we have a RAD label with some formatted text, and down here there's a text box that shows exactly what is formatting that RAD label. Now, using all of this new markup can be a pretty tedious task. That's why we foresaw the need for an editor so that you don't have to write all of this markup by hand. And this editor is called the RAD Markup Editor, which you can see by clicking the Start RAD Markup Editor button. Now the Markup Editor contains an easy-to-use ribbon-style interface in which you can use Design Mode or you can use Markup Mode. I'll go ahead and change up the text a little bit so we can see how this works. I'll change the RAD label text to say, or I guess be red. Um, We'll unbold that and italicize it instead. We'll underline all of that and for the sample text let's change the font to something different. When I click apply you can see that it immediately gets applied to that label. Now this RAD markup editor is actually user control so you can use it within your application but we've also provided it inside of Visual Studio so that you can use it when you're in design mode. And I'll show you that now. So here I have a simple application with a RAD label and a button on it. And let's say I want to style this RAD label's text. Used to, you would click on this drop down here in the text property, and all you would see is the ability to enter more text. But now when you click on it, you can see the plain text with the markup, as you see here, and there's also a button to start the markup editor. So if you click that, it brings up the same editor that's used in the demo application, and here I can style this text just as I did before. So I'll make it a little bit bigger, I've bolded it. Um, I'll change the label part to be a different color, make it blue. Clicking apply immediately applies it in the Visual Studio Designer. And that's really all there is to it. Using the RAD Markup Editor in your application is pretty easy too. I'll show you how I've used it in mine. If I click the Show Markup Editor button, you'll see that it displays the Markup Editor to me. Exactly like the designer, I can format this text however I choose. Clicking apply will immediately apply it to that label. Well, how did I do this? Let's check out the code for this button. It's a pretty short set of code. All I'm doing here is creating a rad markup dialog and I pass in the text of the rad label to the value on the dialog. And I simply call show dialog and if the dialog result is OK I apply the value placed in the dialog back to the text of the RAD label. And that's all there is to using the RAD markup dialog in your application. Well, that's pretty much it for this video. If you'd like more information on the Q3 2009 release, be sure to visit Telerik.com for the latest information.